Uh, we are tracking though some very active weather out west. We've had a short break, but this is just one of many landslides that we have seen all the way through December and January. I mean, we've had an active six weeks out on the West Coast. Take a look at that crumble as the earth just careens down the cliffside all the way down into, you know, the beachfront down below. All across the Golden State, relentless storms have really battered and really caused a lot of damage to the beaches. We're talking about coastal beach erosion here. And we are forecasting about four more storms to hit the California coastline in the next several days. Research geologist Patrick Barnett Bernard joins us now live from Seattle. You know, this is very interesting what we've been seeing happen. It's not the first time that we've gotten ourselves in a situation where we're being battered by multiple atmospheric river events. But what is the impact on the beachfront? Because that is very unique. Yeah, there have been impacts across the state of California. Um, we've had exceptionally large waves. Um, it's resulted in coastal erosion, cliff retreat, significant flooding. Um, all up and down the state from the north to the south. Um, we had back in January 5th in the Santa Cruz area where my office is based, we had one of the largest wave events in history and known history for sure in at least 40 years. And it caused exceptional damages, um, looks like approaching about $100 million that have damaged roads and destroyed uh, property. And uh, it's been a very significant event in addition to the inland rainfall that has caused lots of river flooding. And Patrick, for those viewers that are watching us that are not familiar with the California coastline, you know, we're talking specifically Santa Cruz, since that's where your office is located. You're talking about cliff sides that go right down into the Pacific Ocean. How does that different change in the topography and how the coastline actually looks impact beach erosion when we have storms like this? Yeah, that's right. I mean, we're built right up to the to the edge of the ocean. It's a very dynamic interface, and we've got lots of people built on top of cliffs, and those cliffs get undermined. Um, the beaches are removed by these large waves, and then we get a significant erosion at the cliff base, and that affects um, damages roads and damages property and, and puts people at risk. But then uh, we also have lots of people living right at sea level as well, and this is the case across California. Even though we have a lot of high relief terrain along the coast, we also have millions of people living right at sea level. So when these events come in, um, it's not just the clifftop folks who are vulnerable, but also a lot of these people who are built uh, um, have property and are living right along um, the ocean's edge. So how do we prepare people? How do we protect them specifically when it comes to beach erosion? Yeah, well, the USGS is all about the science and developing tools um, to protect um, life and property. And so when these events occur, you know, we get out in the field, we try to understand the magnitude of the event. Um, and this basically feeds into computer models so we can develop more predictive tools in the future so we can protect life and property. Um, so we really understand the nature of this event and then it helps us uh, predict future events much more um, effectively. Now, gathering that data is such an important piece of this. Patrick, thank you so much for the insight this morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.